Hello, everyone, and welcome to another uh, workflows video. Now, um, so over the weekend, I had um, a workflows customer reach out to me and ask me a question. Um, they um, invoke an external API and they get a JSON, and now they want to retrieve an object from their response. And they asked me for help with that. And so I created a very simple flow and shared it with them. And I thought, hey, I can also share um, this example with you as well. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm actually going to show you two things. First is how to invoke an external API. So I think that's also interesting. And then from the JSON that we get from that API, I'll show you how to get um, retrieve an object. Um, Right, so let's get um, let's get started. So um, let's create a new flow, and we will call this external API, and then call. I want to check this again, so this will help us when we test. All right, now for the API, so I um, use a service called Maki.io, which is really cool. Um, you, uh, it's a free service, but you, you give it a JSON um, response, uh, anything you want, and then it will create um, an API endpoint for you. So that's what I did. I gave this JSON, and then it created this um, endpoint for me. So that's what I'm going to use. So let me copy this and go to workflows, and I'm going to function, and then I want to do get, and then. This is the one here. This is the API connector one. This is that I want. And then I'm just going to paste the URL. And as always, it's a good idea to test the card and we can do it right away here. Test this card. And here we go. We got the response that you saw, that we saw here. Same, same thing. Cool. So again, the so this is the first part. Um, again, if you ever need to invoke an external API, this is how you do it. Um, one thing I also want to mention is that I'm not using any authentication. Um, if you need to use authentication, you could actually set it up here. Uh, I'm using blank just to, so it's different from Twilio, for example, that I used in another video. Uh, but yeah, it's just, just call it as is um, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, all right. Now, so we want to, let's say, let's go back here. Let's say we want to get um, this element, right, uh, as an example. Um, so let's go back and let's add um, a function. And we're going to call this, um, so we want get, actually. Um, get is this one here. So this is get one object. And so the path, if I look. If I look at this again here, let me run this. Sorry, I know there's so many different tests here. Um, so I need to do profiles um, and then which element, which object in the array, um, and then I want to get the name. All right, so let's say you want to do profiles, um, we'll do for name. Sorry, actually, well, let's get it here and back. Now we can always also test this card also, and we can paste the, the entire JSON structure test. And here we go. Uh, we get uh, Anika Brazil. Um, that's element number four, and that's uh, index, I'm sorry, index four, uh, but it's element number five. All right. Okay. So this works. So now let's do the mapping. So this is important. Um, you don't want to forget that. Uh, and then the body will map like this. And the last thing we can do is we can add, if we want to, this is just really, of course, optional. And we can do something like this. And then we can test. And here we go. So again, um, we can see, let me scroll up here. We can see how the mapping is, um, how data is passed. So, and then, all right. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. So two things, again, one is how to invoke an external API. Uh, and second, how to retrieve an object 
uh, from the response um, from that uh, API, from the JSON response. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you next time.